or even worse, sort of turned away and not given us eye contact on purpose, and we know it. Hey, it's Adam Deport, customer service expert, author, and speaker, and today I want to talk to you about who is your greeter. Now, often when we talk about greeters, we refer to the Walmart greeter, right? That's the one we're most familiar with. And it was really an innovation back in the day when Walmart first started doing that. Somebody to make a first impression. Somebody to be welcoming and welcome somebody into the business, into the store. And now, most of us aren't that big. Most companies don't have a dedicated greeter that only does that. And in fact, Walmart had gotten rid of their greeters for a while and then brought them back. The real issue for us is knowing who in the journey our greeter is. So from the management perspective, if you're leading teams, if you're leading organizations, if you're in charge of looking at the customer journey, you want to know where are these first impressions? Where in the journey, which touch points are people being quote unquote greeted? And who are those people that are doing the greeting? Because they're going to have other jobs. They're going to have other roles, other responsibilities. They're going to you know, be in charge of, let's say, if it's a building like behind me, they're going to be in charge of security. So their primary job is making sure whoever gets in, you know, is supposed to be in and whoever doesn't, uh, shouldn't get in, doesn't get in. But they're also creating an impression. They're also creating, you know, the beginning of a journey and setting the tone and setting those first impressions that we talk about for whatever comes next. So the next part is if you are actually the person who greets people. If you are part of that customer experience and you are going to be the first impression that your organization makes. And understand that whatever your job may be, whether it's ringing out the customer, stocking the shelves, answering the phone and you know, booking reservations, whatever it may be, part of your job is making that first impression. Part of your job is setting that tone right from the outset. And it's one, how to be successful at whatever you're going to do next. Because setting that tone is what creates the beginning of that experience. What puts the customer either in a positive frame of mind, a neutral frame of mind, a negative frame of mind, because we've all walked into a store and been ignored, right? That's service trigger number one. If you look at uh, the seven service triggers we teach at CTS Service Solutions, service trigger number one is being ignored. We've all had that happen. We've gone into a store and nobody's looked at us or even worse, sort of turned away and not given us eye contact on purpose. And we know it. And those things set a tone. Those things create an experience. So no matter what your role, if you're in management, you want to think about who your greeters are and to make sure they understand that that's part of what they do. That's part of their job duties, their responsibilities, what the what they execute in, in part of the customer experience. Part of that is setting that tone, that first impression and having that warm greeting. And if you're on the front lines and you're the one doing the greeting, just remember how important it is. Remember how first impressions set the tone for everything that comes next. And remember that if you do that well, you're going to have better experiences with your customers and create better experiences for them. So I'm Adam Deporek, and you can find out more about me at CustomersThatStick.com. And make sure no matter what you do, YouTube, subscribe. Thanks.